Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are not talking about any makeup products or any beauty products. We are going to talk about YouTube. Now if you only follow bigger YouTubers you wouldn't know this tag. This tag is called as being an Indian YouTuber tag and this was created by Shaima and Nidhi. Shaima from the Desert Rose Journals and Nidhi from Nidhi Katyar. Katyar, I hope I'm not butchering their name. Oh god, I'm so nervous. So yeah, those are the two YouTubers who created this tag. Now, the tag is about bridging the gap between bigger and smaller YouTubers. Not smaller, but like budding YouTubers who have just started their journey. And just, you know, creating a good unity among all the different YouTubers here in India. So that's what this tag is all about. I will link their videos in the description box below so you can check them out. They have done it so beautifully. And the idea itself is so unique and the questions are also well organized well put together um, and it's always fun to watch and you would expect that the answers are going to be same among all the youtubers because we are basically indian youtubers but no uh, when you watch all the videos among all the different youtubers you would find a lot of similarities but then there are different things which just do not match and which is what makes this tag really nice and unique um, that's why i thought of doing it today and yeah, I'm not going to waste too much time. I know I make my videos way too long, so I'm just going to start. I have literally uh, opened the video of Shaima and I'm just going to read the questions over here. Okay, so the first question is who tagged you and whom do you tag? Nobody really tagged me. I'm just doing it on my own. Basically, these people tag me because they have told in the video that... Um, any Indian YouTuber can do this. Basically, Shaima and Nidhi tagged me indirectly through their video. And whom do you tag? Mm, I think I'm gonna tag Anupama from Nails for Fun. Even though I'm not into nails, like... <laughs> but I really like watching her videos. I watch all her videos most of the times. Uh, I'm gonna tag her, even though I don't know how to tag. Maybe I should just look up. Anyways, I tag... Anupama from Nails for Fun and also any YouTuber who is watching this and who has not done this. Any Indian YouTuber basically. So yeah, that's the first question. Next is what is your channel's name and what does it mean? Okay, so my channel name is The Makeup Biome. Now when I was thinking about uh, my channel name, I wanted it to start with The. I don't know why I just wanted it. So The Makeup because I love makeup and the, my channel is basically about makeup and biome because biome means diversity I guess I'm not really sure but yeah I feel like my channel is not just about I mean I want to try out different varieties of makeup like not just like Maybelline and L'Oreal and, and Lakme I want to try out all the non-branded stuff as well and I do that um, yeah I might not be putting every single video of all the non-branded stuff I try because most of them don't turn out to be that great but I do try them and that's what this channel is about like I want you guys to know um, not just about the famous brands but also about the brands which are not so recognized in the Indian market but they still have good quality products and that's what I wanted to do on my channel like I started Indian primer series I started Indian um, liquid eyeliner series even though I have to put up videos on my liquid eyeliner series and I have like I've bought bunch of um, liquid eyeliners from non-branded uh, companies like I have from in color I have from MNN I have from um, uh, Glamcom so yeah that's what my video is video that's what my channel is about my channel I just want you guys to have like a diverse variety of makeup that didn't make any sense basically i just wanted to have like a channel wherein i can just post reviews or just post any reviews of any product which i like irrespective of the brand and hence i named my channel the makeup bio next question is what kind of videos do you make i make um review videos like review of makeup products or brushes or anything which i like you guys to know and I also make uh, makeup tutorials even though I've just done two of those till now I know I should get on it and I should just increase the number of makeup tutorials I'm putting up so that's what it is what motivated you to be a youtuber is the fourth question a lot of things motivated to be a youtuber like 
all of the YouTubers that I watched motivated me to be a YouTuber. Like I cannot just specify, okay, this particular YouTuber motivated me to be a YouTuber. No, it, it was not like that. You know, being a YouTuber is not easy. It's like a big decision you're making. So it's not going to be just one person or okay it might be but for me it was not just one person it was just like a lot of different factors and people a lot of different youtubers who motivated me um but i would say that in the last minute like when i was very confused if i should start or if i shouldn't start one person who really like you know pushed me to start my youtube channel was patrick star if you haven't watched his um I don't know I think Cinderella story video you should definitely watch it it's so inspiring in that video I really felt like if you watch it you will know what I'm talking about but yeah that video of his really pushed me to start my YouTube channel but otherwise a lot of different youtubers motivated me to start next question is how long have you been doing YouTube now my first YouTube video was on 16th July 2016 which is this year and it's been almost five months of me doing YouTube so yeah next question is do your family and friends know about your YouTube life what was their reaction now this is something I really want to answer when I was planning of starting my YouTube channel the first thing which was coming into my mind was my dad is never really going to understand uh, the whole concept of YouTube in the first place and then the second thing was I wanted to do makeup videos right when I had thought of starting my YouTube channel I had just decided that I'm not going to limit my videos to just uh, you know famous brands I wanted to try out different brands now it definitely requires a lot of money like you have to keep on buying stuff and things like that and you guys know it I'm not earning as of yet I'm just a student um so that was something which was like really bothering me like how do i even approach my dad how do i even um ask him you know that was something which was really bothering me and for the longest time i just gave up the idea of starting youtube for this particular reason and then one day during my last holidays i was just going through a few blogs and stuff and i randomly started talking about it to my dad like not about youtube but i just started talking about starting my blog he definitely did not understand the whole concept of it so i had to just explain him from the scratch but slowly and steadily he started understanding what how all of this really works and then from blog i just jumped to youtube now his reaction was why do you want to do youtube like um in the beginning he was not really understanding it but the more i explained him the more supportive he became and now as of now everything i'm buying every single purchase of mine is from my dad's money and i have never told that like i've never talked about it in any of my videos how grateful i am for my dad because if it wasn't for him i don't think i would be doing youtube as of now by this question by answering this question i really want to thank my dad i know he's going to watch this video and dad i really love you thank you so much for being supportive moving on seventh question is how difficult is it to be an indian youtuber being a youtuber itself is a little bit challenging because you have to think about ideas you have to think about uh, what you really want to do in your video you have to edit it you have to upload it there's a lot of work which goes behind a single video and being an Indian youtuber is a little bit difficult because not a lot of people are into YouTube as much as other like in other countries people watch YouTube so they don't really know the concept of YouTube like for example my friends would watch YouTube like who do not who are not into YouTube so they would just watch it and they don't know the concept of subscription you know how do they subscribe they have to subscribe or not um, liking the video so all of that is a little bit difficult when it comes to Indian YouTubers because not a lot of people know about YouTube here in the first place. That's something which is a little bit challenging about being an Indian YouTuber but being a YouTuber itself is a big challenge. Next question is are there any earnings through YouTube? Yes, definitely there is earning through YouTube uh, but YouTube only starts paying you once you cross a threshold of $100 um, and the initial money which you get is very very little so you cannot expect yourself to be like getting a huge amount of money once you cross 
that threshold uh, but they are definitely earnings through youtube and for that you have to make an adsense account and you have to monetize your videos um, in order to get paid by youtube okay so the next question is if you were given a choice between youtube and a job which one would you choose now i know my answer is going to sound really ridiculous but okay let me explain now i have one more semester to go and i am going to take up a job and why i'm most excited to take up a job is just because i won't be dependent on my dad anymore you know like i will i should not be uh, asking him money i i won't be asking him money for buying stuff for my youtube i'm so excited about it like finally i can do my youtube by my own money this question is really difficult to answer for me because i want a job to do my youtube um and I I don't know how to answer this question. I guess I'm going to say that as of now like where I stand as a student I would say I need a job first to pursue my YouTube but um any time if you would ask I love being YouTuber, I love making videos. So in the future I'm going to say I would love doing YouTube as opposed to job. Next question is who is your favorite YouTuber? favorite yes like you can just answer n number of youtubers um my favorite youtubers i watch lot of people so in beauty community i love watching kathleen lights i love her um i really do and yeah sometimes when she just does not post i go like oh i miss her i want to watch her videos that's how much i love watching her videos i watch jacqueline hill i watch patrick star i watch manny Manny not so much but I do watch sometimes um say so I don't watch lot of like I right now I do not have time but when I do have time I can just watch any any youtuber I can and then other youtubers like non beauty youtubers I I love superwoman she is so she is so inspiring right like recently I have been really into the youtube drama like you know John Cukain Karina Kaboom I am butchering their name anyways those are the people who are just like um putting up the the whole controversy going on on YouTube and I really like watching that it's like my guilty pleasure sort of videos I watch okay so the next question is where is it yeah according to your experience what does it take to be a YouTuber so what it takes is just I don't know how to answer this question okay maybe I have to just talk like the plus and minus points I guess um plus points you can be yourself people would still love you people would still watch you minus points i guess uh people are going to judge you no matter what not everybody just you know judges you but there are going to be some people who would just vent out all of their anger on you and your videos and they would just type nasty comments and it's just going to ruin your day but i guess you just have to learn how to deal with it but otherwise i love youtube and i don't know what am i supposed to answer in this question okay so the next question is which one do you think works better paid content or original of course original because when you are doing original content you don't really have to think about um, like hurting people's feelings i mean i don't know i've never really done any paid content so i don't know how it works but i feel like for example when i did uh, the wheat sensitive touch trimmer video In that video I bought it myself right I bought the trimmer myself it did not work out for my eyebrows that well but I did like it for my upper lip and sideburn so I just told what I felt so if it would have been a paid content even if I wouldn't have liked it for my eyebrows I think I would have sugar coated my sentences in such a way that I do not hurt the people who are paying me I don't know how it works I do know that a lot of YouTubers do paid content where leave the sugar coated thing like they just don't want to be honest about the product like they would just tell you everything the product is not so i think in that scenario paid content is not a good thing but i do know other youtubers which even though they are doing paid content they do talk about like the positives and the negatives like they would be brutally honest no matter what so yeah definitely original content works the best Okay so the next question is which is your most successful video Okay my most successful video is a lot of you would know it's the wheat sensitive touch trimmer successful in a sense i guess i'm supposed to talk about the views 
um so i guess that is the most successful okay next question which editing software and filming equipments do you use i use uh, the camera which i use is canon 700d and uh, what what is the question yeah editing software i use adobe premiere pro cs6 so those are the things which i use and next question is how do you deal with hate slash mean comments i guess i'm going to stop talking about my personal experience and advice from my experience if you are getting negative comments just don't think about it like those people they don't know what you're doing they don't know anything about it so why do you really want to consider what they have to say right like people might just say oh your eyebrow looks horrible oh your nose contour looks disgusting just leave those people like why do you want to consider it that's what i have just kept in my mind like those people don't know me those people might not know makeup those people might not know how a product works so maybe that's why they just left a hate comment just get over it i guess that's all you can do you just have to mentally prepare yourself for it and then just get over it just forget those Next question is advice for other indian youtubers well <laughs> i myself need advice so if you are watching this if any um indian youtuber is watching this please leave me advice down below from my side i would say that just be yourself you don't have to copy someone's else personality or you just don't have to seem perfect because nobody is perfect and everybody understands that people are only going to relate to you if you're not perfect and also i guess about the content and stuff i would say even if you're a small youtuber even if you're just starting out at this point just focus on your content don't really think about okay how do i reach this like how do i get people to watch my videos how do i um get my numbers high how do i get so many subscribers don't think of it in the first place just focus on what are the kinds of videos you want to put up how is it going to be different and how is it going to be useful to the people because all the whole the whole point of doing youtube is that you want to help people right like if you are doing a review or if you are doing a makeup tutorial it's all about helping people who are watching your videos so just think about making helpful videos and um yeah just be yourself make good content and trust me if you are doing all of that people will see your hard work people will see your dedication people will understand that yes you are putting efforts in your videos people will relate to you and in the end they will subscribe they will watch your videos they will like your videos they will comment on your videos so trust me if you are doing what you love if you are doing what you just have a great passion for everything will come and everything will fall in place that's all that's all the advice i can give because i mean come on who am i <laughs> so that's all for this video i hope you guys found this video fun to watch and i'll see you in my next one bye